Hi, my name is Bill Robertson, and you might know me better as Dr. Skateboard. Welcome to Dr. Skateboard's Action Science, a video series where we explore the concepts of physical science and how they relate to skateboarding and BMX. This video segment covers Newton's laws. Sir Isaac Newton put forward some groundbreaking science back in the day, and now we can explore these laws through skateboarding and BMX. So let's check out Newton's laws. There are three of Newton's laws of motion to explore in the area of physical science, and they incorporate concepts found in the videos on motion and forces. <laughs> Newton's second law of motion states that the acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the force applied to it. Since acceleration is a change in velocity with a change in time, both concepts can be explored in relation to Newton's second law. The important fact is that a force will cause a change in velocity, and likewise, a change in velocity will generate a force. We've also defined force as equal to mass times acceleration. We can also define acceleration as equal to force divided by mass. Greater mass with the same force produces less acceleration, and the smaller mass with the same force produces more acceleration. For example, let's say the first rider has a force of 100 newtons and a mass of 78 kilograms, while the second rider has a force of 100 newtons and a mass of 62 kilograms. Who has the greater acceleration? Doing the math for the equation, you can calculate that rider one has acceleration equal to 1.28 newtons per kilogram, while rider two has acceleration equal to 1.61 newtons per kilogram. So rider two has the greater acceleration. Greater force on the same mass produces more acceleration and less force on the same mass produces less acceleration. For a single BMX rider who has a constant mass consisting of the rider and the bike, more force will translate to greater acceleration and bigger airs and higher tricks. For example, let's say the BMX rider has a mass of 70 kilograms. For the first trick, he exerts a force of 70 newtons. On the second attempt, he exerts a force of 100 newtons. On which attempt does the rider produce greater acceleration? How do you know? Since the rider's mass is the same, you divide the first force of 70 newtons by 70 kilograms and you get acceleration equal to 1.00 newtons per kilogram. In the second attempt, you have to divide the force of 100 newtons by 70 kilograms and you get acceleration equal to 1.43 newtons per kilogram. So the BMX rider's second attempt produces a greater acceleration. For a skateboarder, this is also true as the constant mass of the rider and the skateboard define a system that will go faster as more force is applied to it. As discussed in the forces video, a skateboarder can maintain a constant level ollie in which the force of gravity is balanced by the lift and the drag is balanced by the thrust. However, if the forces become unbalanced, the rider moves in the... <laughs> 